Uh, six gun here. Uh, we're going to be flying a little bird. This is from the RHS 0431 uh, update, the very new one. So the little bird has customizable outer pylons. Very cool. So I can run my uh, Times 19 rocket pod over here and a Gau 19. And then the default little bird comes with a, a twin M134. So I've got a variety of weapon systems I can use. But we're here today to test uh, Kimmy's new helmet mounted display 4.0. So let's get right to it. And we have a menu now, and you see the cue on the screen. This is new. This did not exist before. So we can turn the uh, display on, off. We can go to Imperial or Metric Measurements, uh, Full or Declutter, so that removes some extra information. We can go Colors, Green and Yellow, and then finally we have Brightness Settings. So that will really come in handy in different lighting conditions or also at night with uh, night vision, so that's pretty slick. Uh, before we start, we always have the bobblehead. Don't fly without the bobblehead. Bad luck. All right, let's start her up. All right, checking the M1 gauge. I can't take off till that M1 gauge gets to the top. While I'm doing that, I'm going to turn on the HUD. There we go. Almost there. Okay, so what you see is the usual information. You've got your altitude uh, tape vertical tape on the right with radar altitude now showing zero so the six foot bug has been uh, removed so now we have a absolute zero altitude when we're on the deck so that's good stuff and on the left you have speed bottom left is fuel so my fuel is at 99 percent and bottom center is the t is the uh, gun counter on the right you can see me going through the various weapons and the TAD system is showing me the full range of motion of the flare pod and this the small rectangle inside is showing where the right seater is looking. So if we get confused, he catches a target and uh, I just need to reference that little square to see where they're looking and I can point my HUD right at it. Uh, also in the center, I'm seeing my center uh, field of view marker and that's going to come in handy when we start moving. Uh, in the front, obviously the Sharpie marker and then we have two crosses. The solid cross is your actual weapons release cue. That's your gun cross. So it's showing a ranging information below it. 2.1 kilometers to whatever target that may be. Obviously we're at the ground, so the weapon will probably not make it there. Above it is the, the uh, dashed gun cross, which is showing a visual representation of where your right seater is actually looking. So if they're looking at a target, you need to just reference that dashed gun cross, put your weapon on it, and fire and uh, that's money in the bank. All right, let's taxi out. And when we start moving, we start seeing more information in the display. There's the artificial horizon. There's a flight path factor that just popped up, showing exactly which way I'm moving. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to center line and hold before we take off. And you can see nine feet, right, nine, ten feet above. So it's really accurate. All right, let's hold right here. I love the tire marks on the new runway texture. It's very cool. Now, when I take off, I will have the flight path vector, but if I'm looking off axis, I'll also see a cue that indicates what the flight path vector is doing. So while I'm flying, I won't lose my situational awareness. Because as a gunship pilot, you spend a lot of your time looking down that way or looking down that way. And what I want to see while I'm looking down is am I flying, am I climbing, am I going straight ahead, what am I doing? And as you see, I'm managing my altitude and speed without looking forward. Which we don't recommend when you're landing or departing at a runway, obviously. All right, putting some gas to it, going through 60 knots. I'm going to just increase my climb a little bit. All right, and we're up and away. So you see that long vector and the circle, which is uh, repeating the information I'm getting from my flight path vector here, right? So if I change my direction of flight, 
you see it changing right there. I don't have to look forward to see what I'm doing. Generally, that's something you want to only use when you're flying at high altitude in uh, operational space. Let's check out the colors. Uh, green, here's yellow. And we can check the brightness. Here is low. Pretty subtle. And here is uh, high. So again, definitely, depending on lighting conditions, uh, this is going to make it easier to see because there's some, you know, early morning, late afternoon conditions where the sun is uh, reflecting in the canopy that makes it very difficult to see this thing. I'm going to go back to my normal, which is green and medium. That's what I tend to rely on during daylight hours right now. Uh, let me declutter the HUD so you see what it looks like. You have just the bare minimum of information now. You get your flight path, heading, altitude, speed, and the weapon cues. So you can fly and fight with this information. All right. Speaking of fighting, let's do a little bit of fighting. I think out in the Tanuka Valley, which is, uh, let's see where we're at here. We're in the main island. The main town in the center, there's some vehicle patrols. So let's head inland and see what's going on. There's Georgetown down there. Let's see if I can get my climb under control. I'm pretty high for visibility's sake. And again, that number is uh, radar above ground, so that's going to change as the terrain changes. Uh, under certain conditions, you're going to see the uh, barometric altimeter pop up at the top of this tape, and that's the permanent number, which is your al uh, altitude above sea level. So if you're trying to keep it straight and level, that's the number you want to refer to for cruising. All right, you see the Tanuka Valley out in front of me here with a town in the middle. And let's look for some bad people. Because I'll bet they're patrolling out there. See, 1.9 kilometers to target, so that slant range. And with the miniguns, I have that information. When I go to the uh, uh, rocket with the I-beam reticle, I lose my ranging information. It'd be nice to have it. But... Uh, We'll rely on what we have here. So I'm going to rely on my uh, GAU-19. And let's just fly around until we get shot at, which is probably not the greatest idea in the world. Well, now. Those guys look like uh, customers. See which way he turns. Let me stay above him so he doesn't... Well, that's just about perfect, isn't it? want to control my speed. Well. I shot somebody. To be absolutely certain, I'm going to go single shots on the missile, or the rocket rather. And his tracers are helping me locate him again. All right, the gunner's still up. And you're not going to like this. All right, looks like they dismounted. That's an effort, so I doubt I'm going to get a secondary out of it. But I got the crew to bail. But as long as they're combatants, they're targets. Hmm, looks like they're not combatants anymore. I got some damage, too. That's probably something I shouldn't repeat. All right, let's see if there's some more vehicles out here. see a static vehicle out there. 
Out at the gas station. I wonder if I can make that shot. That looks like a tight shot. I don't want to hit the roof of that gas station. So I'll slip over a little bit. Ah, uh, looks like I just slipped right under it. Alright, that's a damage. That's a damage of the tires. That should be enough to get the crew to dismount. Except there's no crew. If I recall correctly, I put one more vehicle out here. Here's when a right seater is going to help. They can look in thermal mode and spot movement really quickly. Who's that? Oh, that's the guys that I was first shooting at, wasn't it? There we go. Love a secondary. Makes every gunship pilot happy. Well, there you go, guys. That's a quick view of Kimmy's fantastic HMD 4.0 in the uh, fantastic, equally fantastic uh, RHS MELB from Psycho and Diesel, and of course the whole RHS team. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, if you want to uh, enjoy more of my videos, definitely check out my channel. Like, share, and subscribe if you care to. And we'll see you next time.